I wasn't expecting to be making this video today guys, but Call of the Wild the Angler might have gotten its best update so far. The highly requested skin variations are finally here. Every single species on Golden Ridge, plus a bunch more from other reserves, will now spawn having different colorings, patterns, and even more, even scars. Supposedly these variations will ensure that no two caches will look exactly the same, so I'm very very excited to start caching fish and see how different they look from each other. So we're gonna start by fishing for some largemouth. We'll be using a number 6 rock in order to be able to catch everything from bronze to diamond. So let's try to catch some of the nice new variations. Ok, first bite. Seems to be a small largemouth. Hopefully silver. And there we have it. This variation is the typical largemouth variation, but is quite different to the legacy one. The color on this one is very similar, but the spots on the sides and the pattern is way more prominent compared to the old one. Now let's try to catch a second to see if it is any different. It should be different. There's one. Another largemouth. And I can already tell it is different. It is sort of orange. Yeah. Look at that. The pattern is similar because obviously most of the large mouths are gonna have a similar pattern, but the coloration on this one is different. Like the bag is orange. Such a big difference compared to the legacy model. And here on the latest caches, we can see a difference compared to the first one we got. Here's the last one. Here you can see the orange tone on the back. And this one is the first one. Which also seems to have an orangish tone, but it's not as noticeable as on the second one. And if we compare them, we can also see the pattern is not exactly the same. It is very similar, but it's not exactly the same. Now let's try to catch more. There's supposedly a countless amount of different variations that you can have on a single species, so every single catch should be different. Every single catch should be different than the last one. Seems like we just hooked a bronze. Way smaller than the first two. So let's see how it looks. Ok. Clearly different. Wow. This one is quite darker. Like you can see the dark pattern covers most of the body to the point where instead of having dark spots you could even say it has orange spots. Very noticeable difference if we compare it with the last one. Alright, now we're fishing for kokanee salmon. The kokanee salmon in real life comes in many different colors, ranging from red to silver. So I can't wait to see how they look. Is that a kokanee? Yeah, it is. Ok, massive difference. Just look at that. Way more pale compared to the usual red variation, and it also has a pattern, which really makes them look more different. Another fish. Hopefully another kokani. Come on. Yeah, it's a kokani. Is it different? Ok, it's the same variation. The exact same variation, same color, same pattern. So let's see if there's actually any difference. Well, I gotta say, at a first glance, there doesn't seem to be any. They look exactly the same. But if we look closely, we can see the position of this stripe is slightly different. Just barely. So these two are pretty much the same, but there's still a tiny little difference. Ok, what is this? Is this a trout or a salmon? Rainbow trout. Finally. And there we have it. Very similar to the legacy, that is like the classic look, but I'm pretty sure there are many more variations. More fish? I wouldn't mind catching another rainbow. I wanna see more variations. So what is it? Another rainbow. How does it look? Oh! It is completely grey. No signs of pink. No signs of red. Just grey. That's amazing. I think this is the most unique variation we have seen so far. And I really wonder if some are rarer than the others. This could be another rainbow. Maybe a kokanee. 
Either way, I wanna see a new variation. Let's see. And here is another rainbow, similar to the first variation, but quite different. This one has way more dark spots. Looks nice. Alright guys, we just spent like 15 minutes fishing exclusively for rainbow trout and we managed to catch 7 different rainbows and each of the 7 rainbows had a different variation. Just look at this. So many different variations. I love what I'm seeing. This update is amazing. What is this? Oh, was that a brook trout? Was that a brook trout or a cotro trout? I'm honestly not sure because the color was quite different to anything I've seen so far. I think it's a cotro trout. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Huge difference. The legacy variation was almost entirely red, but this one is more like gray. Gray with a dark pattern. We hooked something huge. I don't know what it is, but based on the tension, I would say it is either a huge kokani or a cotro trout. Oh, I think it's a cotro. And it's definitely different than the last one. Oh, that looks amazing. Way more orange. I think the pattern is similar, but the coloration is definitely different. Look at that. Very, very different from each other. Is that a kokani? Yeah, it is a kokani and it is red. You won't believe me, but every single of the kokanis I've got today had the exact same variation, the one we got earlier. Just with the slight differences. So it is great to finally see a different variant, and it is a gold. This is like the classic skin for the kokani semon along with the silver, so I'm definitely hoping to see one that is completely silver in color at some point. Now, I can't wait to see the new variations on things like the bluegill and the green sunfish. There's a bluegill. He's about to buy the number 8 hook, and telling from the size, I think it's gonna be silver. Nothing special, but the important thing here is to see the variation. Okay. Interesting. Clearly different to the legacy, but you could still say this is the typical bluegill color. Let's try to catch more variants. Another bluegill. Hard to tell from here if the coloration is any different than the last one, but size-wise here appears to be the same. Oh, it is different. Way different. I mean, the color is not nearly as vibrant, it is more gray. The pattern is similar, but the color is very, very different. Here we can see a difference. The more variations I see, the more I think this update is actually the best update Call of the Wild the Angler has ever gotten. Is this one also different? It is also a bluegill. Well, it looks about the same as the first one. Yeah, it's pretty much the same variation. Same color and the same pattern, pretty much. You know, here we can see the pattern is actually slightly different, but overall we could consider this to be the same variant. Now, is it just me or that one is completely different? It would be the third bluegill variation we see if it is actually different. Ooh. This one is like light brown. No trace of orange on the belly. Very nice looking fish. Now, if there's one species that I'm really excited to see how it looks, that is definitely the black rabbit. And we're about to catch one. Interesting. Very interesting pattern to say the least. I mean, that is not the kind of pattern you would expect to see on a black rabbit. Although I won't deny it looks nice. That one is also a black rapi. Also a silver. And well, I gotta say this one is quite more realistic, way closer to the pattern you would expect to see on a real crappy. So love to see it. That one is massive. Holy, nice tension. Very nice tension, how big is it? Is this a diamond? No way, he's a diamond. 
926 grams with a completely different variation. It is almost entirely black. I don't think it's precisely realistic for them to have such a big dark patch in their body. Normally they have hundreds of dark spots that make them look this dark. But at the end of the day, these variations are completely new, so it is completely normal for them to not be perfect, and I would say they are definitely subject to software changes in the future. Fantastic update overall. You know, the fact that every single diamond we catch is gonna look different from each other will give us a very good reason to keep fishing for the same species until we catch the variations we want. And now the only thing we need is to have a place to display our catches, like a trophy lodge. 